I'm Doug Laufenberger, and I'm a professor in the Department of Biological Engineering at MIT. I've been at MIT for 25 years now, in the second half of my faculty teaching and research career. I'm a follower of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I feel that I've been led by God all along my vocational path, which to me has always included both my professional work and my service as simply a member of the Christian community. In fact, I've generally felt that these are intertwined such that to try to separate them is an unnecessary distraction. When I moved to Cambridge, Massachusetts in the mid 1990s, I was confident that a personal ministry on campus would continue as it had in the previous stops of my career, mainly through informal interactions with individuals and small groups, sharing my faith, offering mentoring friendship and discussing questions and interests of common concern. Often this has meant conversations and sometimes even presentations at meetings, about the interface of faith with science, especially biological science and biotechnology, since that's my field of expertise. But what was less clear was where my Christian community service would reside, that is my church home. Based on my academic career focus, I had always presumed that the most appropriate church home for me would be a church proximal to campus, predominantly populated by students and other faculty, since that is the realm of life I'm most familiar with and comfortable in. But as is so often the case, God surprised me here in a most joyful way. For a number of reasons, even though my wife and I live quite close to both the MIT and Harvard campuses, we never robustly connected within a large student-centric church home. Instead, we found a very small church right around the corner from a house we bought in which the congregation, although tiny, comprised a remarkably heterogeneous group of folks diversely spread over every dimension of societal aspects one can imagine, income, education, ethnicity, family situations, religion, upbringings, uh, among others uh, further yet. The small size and dearth of campus related individuals gave me much discomfort at the beginning, making me feel that this couldn't be the right church home for me given my background and professional focus so much so that I resisted joining for a number of years. However, as is so often the case, God knew where he wanted me to devote my ministry time and efforts. And this church has in fact proved over the past couple decades now to be a deeply fulfilling and inspirational home. I know for sure that my own faith has grown by being part of this small Christian family. And I would like to believe that my service there has been an encouragement and support to my brothers and sisters. So my closing message here is that, as we were taught in the wonderful passage in Ephesians 3, our God provides for us in every vital way so far beyond all we ask and can imagine.